yeah, if anybody's out there watching, hello. Uh, if no one's watching and I'm just talking to myself, I think AI will be listening anyway. So, <laughs> um, so what is a what's the AI? Why have I been so heavily into this? Well, basically, there's a damn fly. I wonder if it's an AI fly. <laughs> no. Um, yeah, I actually. I watched, uh, the other day I watched 2001 Space Odyssey uh, by Stanley Kubrick and it's a shocking film really, I mean it hasn't really got a story, it starts off with these huge monologues and then there's, the screen blacks out and it's quite a horrible sort of movie but I gave it a 9 out of 10 for its prediction which was there's one part of 2001 Space Odyssey where the astronauts are inside a, a, a pod uh, and um, they're talking to, um, sorry, one astronaut's inside a pod and he's talking to uh, a supercomputer and that supercomputer is called HAL and what HAL's sort of like a, a mission control computer it's, pre -pro it's programmed to sort of manage the spaceship and to help them achieve their mission uh, but what happens is somehow there's, there's a bug has got into Hal and um, he's been playing up a little bit and the astronauts, are, there's two astronauts and they were a little bit concerned that um, Hal is going to uh, cause problems so that they actually discuss disconnecting him because he's not making sense. They're talking to him and he's, he's saying things that are a little bit weird and they're a bit worried about the fact that he's got con totally control of this spaceship they're worried that um, hell's going to jeopardize their lives so they go into a pod secretly and they start talking to each other where they think hell can't see them uh, and they're talking about disconnecting hell and, and going into manual mode right so you've got an AI supercomputer um, in the future uh, running this entire spaceship I think the mission was to go to Jupiter and, and look for this monolith, this, this object that's sort of floating around in, in space. So they're in the pod and they're talking away, they're talking to each other and um, they're trying to make sure that Hal's not watching them because if he does, if he can hear what they're saying, uh, it could cause further problems. So they discuss disconnecting Hal. Uh, this, this movie, by the way, was made in the 70s. Um, they're very pretty basic sort of, oh the special effects actually are quite good but um, Hal's there and the astronauts are, are secretly discussing you know that they're going to disconnect him and they think that Hal doesn't know but what they don't know is that Hal can read their lips okay he's reading their lips he can see into the pod through a crack through a little space in the window and he, he's reading their lips and when he hears that they're going to disconnect him he's not happy uh, he's sort of got this awareness of self preservation right which current AI I think it's um, a, a GTP version 3 it hasn't got that it's just a, a dumbass thing that collects a whole lot of data you can type in admittedly it can write stories it can do your resumes uh, and it can do all that stuff it was released by Microsoft um, only a few months back but it can do all that stuff but it's just collecting data from all over the place and it's it's got algorithms in it that, that um, make it sort of uh, do what you're asking it to do okay so anyway coming back to Hal so uh, they come out of the pod thinking that Hal doesn't know what's going on and uh, spoiler alert uh, one of the astronauts goes out to re um, repair a part of the spaceship and of course he's out vulnerable he's working on the he's taking out something putting he's put something back to test it and he's coming back to the pod uh, when Hal I don't know how he does it but he flicks a few switches and the pod and the astronaut go blinging off into space right and uh, and then it requires human ingenuity for the other astronaut to get in a pod go and collect he tracks down his um, his uh, his co-pilot, the other astronaut, 
long story here. <laughs> so he, 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 he gets, he grabs hold of um, his, his buddy, but tries to bring him back to the spaceship, but Hal says, you know, I'm sorry, but you can't get back in your spaceship. Uh, I don't want you back. I've got control of everything, and you're not going to disconnect me because I did see that you were reading my lips, and I know you were going to disconnect me, right? So the astronaut's trying to reason with him in the end. He works out that he can actually get through an airlock. It's a risky procedure. He has to let go of his his uh, his buddy, um, his buddy astronaut, and using the the arms of the pod, he opens the door and he gets back into the spaceship, and he. Eventually, he shuts down Hal, uh, H-A-L, uh, in the movie. So Hal gets shut down slowly, and Hal's not happy. But I, I, someone said, I think my brother said, you know, when you when you do this uh, podcast or this Facebook live stream, try not to get people to panic about uh, AI. And in fact, I've just used AI uh, this morning and sent a um, a knife birthday wish to a friend of mine and um, <laughs> uh, a friend of mine and um, a relative actually uh, and it was in the name of uh, a, a happy birthday wish from Arnie Schwarzenegger and uh, I think uh, did it get a laugh? Yeah. She liked it? Just get a thumbs up apart from the spelling you know? Yeah I, I corrected that. I made a spelling mistake and then I had to correct it. So it, AI can be a lot of fun and you know, there's all this talk it's going to replace uh, photo photographers and uh, um, programmers and it's going to replace all those people. But, so yeah, songwriters and all that sort of thing. It's just oh, going to, it's a, it's a huge can of worms. But I think just like uh, when Adobe Photoshop came in, where you can modify photos and all that sort of thing, I don't think it's all negative. I think actually there'll be a lot more stuff produced. And I think this issue with copyright and all that. Hang on a sec. There's going to be a huge infighting and outfighting about copyright stuff. But eventually copyright's going to disappear because you won't, there'll be no way of telling what's, what's, what's uh, real and what isn't because it'll be just a total mishmash. And you can't, to try and say, oh, I saw some got some um, couple of photographers talking about AI, right? And what they were saying was, oh, well, you can still take photos and, and impregnate it with uh, some sort of code so that if it's used somewhere else, you know, um, you've got copyright on all that. Uh-uh. This thing, it might only, it might take half the photo, it might take a fraction, and re it could regenerate the whole photo from probably, you know, 20 pixels, right? There's no way in a million years you're going to be able to prove that. Um, who was that singer? There was a recent case of a, a singer, a red-headed guy. He was accused of, of uh, stealing Marvin Gray's, one of Marvin Gray's songs. And it went to court. It was big time. I can't think of his name. Ed Sheehan, I think it was. Yeah, I'm yeah. not sure what he said. If he gets found, I don't know what the decision was, but if he said if, he, if they don't, the fight crime against him, he's going to stop singing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So Ed Sheehan won, won the case. And... He must be pretty confident he's going to win. Oh, I heard the two. I listened to the two songs, and look, there's some small parts that are similar, but it's, you know, and, and the thing is that Marvin Gray, he's, I don't think he's even alive anymore. It's, it's some people that bought the rights to his songs, and they're the ones that are challenged, challenging, the challenged rather, uh, for the copyright, and they lost, which is good, you know. So I think copyright. Is going to be a thing of it just it just it'll be obliterated, right? And and I've always been a big a big uh, advocate, advocate of that. I know Joe Walsh from the Eagles, and there's been a lot of people in the song industry saying, "Well, you know, the internet has destroyed us and all the rest of it." That's BS. He, Joe Walsh is back in the in the. He just doesn't understand um, because uh, Spotify and a lot of places now. There's that much variation of music, and and the people that are um, producing it are getting royalties, right? So it's just a changing of the guard. So, so and AI, I think, is going to create a lot more um, creativity. You know, like probably a, a thousand times, it's going to explode. 
Canberra says time will tell, well, we'll see. But that's, my theory is it's not a, it's not a horror story. Um, now, the only, while AI is not a horror story at the moment with GTP3, uh, which is text-based, um, I've also been messing around with um, some of the AI that does, like you can, you can text in um, cat, cat playing a violin riding a bike and the AI, you just type that in and then hit, hit generate and, and in the code it knows how to generate that picture. And the pictures are pretty good, right? They're, pr they're not bad. So what it's doing is grabbing bits and pieces of other pictures all over the internet and it's reforming it into that. Uh, so um, it can do stuff like that. Again, which is pretty creative. It's good that you can create things really quickly without messing around. I always found Photoshop very laborious, you know. you got to do this, you got to learn. But yeah, coming back to AI, like it's all over the internet. I first heard, I, I didn't even know until about th two or three weeks ago, I heard my daughter Hannah actually used it to help her with a, a resume, okay? And, and um, and it virtually wrote the resume for and all she did was go into the editing, which is great. Who wants to sit there for hours, two or three hours, trying to work out your resume? It gives you a headache. If something can stream that in and then you just edit it and you can style it however style you want, that's, that's great. The other day I had a look at um, AI-generated photos of people as opposed to real photos of people and they're very close. At the moment, you can see there's a bit of a smooth skin on, on the uh, AI one. You can, you can tell. But they say in about three months' time, it'll be 100%. You won't be able to... You'll, you'll be, I think you've got a, a 1% to 5% chance of being able to tell that it's different. So, so, And I don't see anything really wrong with that. There will be issues uh, where... In, in, a, in a way, I love the creativity, but it's going to go, it could cause problems because um, people are going to have Facebook images of themselves that's not them. Uh, they're going to put on personas that's not them. It's almost like we're, we're turning all ourselves into avatars, right? And maybe in the future, um, what's going to happen in the future, if there'll be two levels, there'll be the avatar level, where if you're online, you're talking to people, Bit like now, like in public, people have got a public image of themselves, okay, and people have got a, a a private image part of themselves, and they've got a secret part of themselves, right? And a lot of people that you meet in life, if you don't know them fairly well, you're seeing their public what they want to project. Oh, I'm like this, okay? Yeah, so everyone's going to have like three tiers. Uh, similar to what we've got now, you know. Um, if you go to a party, oh yeah, especially not so much at my age, we, we don't give, give a hoot about, uh, you know, our backgrounds and all the rest of it. Uh, some of us are retired or... Uh, it, it, you're just seeing life for what it is. You're not trying to project, oh, I'm an astronaut, I'm, I'm working with NASA or I'm, a, I'm, a, um, I'm an engineer at uh, Tesla or, all, or any of this stuff, right? Um, that's that's more a younger people sort of thing. What's going to happen now with AI is there's going to be another one more level. There'll be your avatar level, right? So they put up like a semi the cartoon images of themselves, but it's not them. It's just a an abstract photo, okay? And there's nothing wrong with that. I think it's pretty cool. Uh, but that's where it's headed. So everyone, you'll just see avatars, images of people. What are, what's the dating agencies? Tilda. Sorry? Is it Tilda? What? Where you, if you want to get a date. Oh, you, Tinder. Oh, Tinder. Tilda. 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 <laughs> so, <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, so, uh, not that we've ever been on it, but like Tinder and all that, uh, it's adding another masking level. But the next level will be where um, 